Results of a test are recorded below. Make a tally chart or frequency table for the scores and display the data using a bar chart and a bar line chart. So here we've got data. This is what's known as raw data. Um, so the first student got 56, the second got 55, etc. And what we need to do, we need to order it in some way. The, what, the easiest way to do it is to make what's known as a ta tally chart. So if we make a tally frequency table, so we put the scores here, the scores go from 52, which is the lowest, up to the highest, which is 60. You will need to determine that from looking up at the table. Here we'll do the tally and here we'll do the frequency. And what you do is you go through the data, crossing off and putting a line. So 56, 55, 55, 54, 52, 60, 60, 56, 57, 60, 60, 55, 55, 53, 53, 56, 59, 54, 58, 58, 58, 58, 52, 52. Now, when we get to 60, which is the next one, we will be putting the line that way because it's easier then to add up groups of five. 59, 55, 58, 54, 59. Again, we put lines in to group them up in fives. 58, 55, 54, 55, 59, 59. Again, another line, 55, 56, 60, 58, 56, and then 55. Right, now having done that, we could just say that here there are three, here there are two, here there are four, and because we put them in groups of five, we can very easily see that we have nine there, five, one, seven, five, and six. What we should just do is add these up, so just to do a little check here, that 3 plus 2 plus 4 plus 9 plus 5 plus 1 plus 7 plus 5 plus 6, that's equal to 42, and we can see we have 7 here and 6 here, so 7 times 6 is 42 altogether. You should just make sure that your frequency do add up to the original data. Now from that, if we just take the frequency table here, a bar chart, the, we have a horizontal axis and a vertical axis. The vertical axis is frequency. No, notice it's been labelled. And in the middle here, we put 52 to 60 and we draw in the, our bar. Now, we don't join the bars up because the data is not continuous. We have a discrete data here. You, we don't get 52 and a half because 52 and a half will become a mark of 53. Uh, so if we're just going to consider whole scores, then this data is said to be discrete. And then we've got some sort of representation of the data, and we can calculate some averages if we wanted to. For the bar line chart, similar idea. Okay, it's the same sort of idea, and we put a cross at the end of each one. So here we have three, so we put a cross here, and we draw in a line. They don't have to be different colours, they can actually be the same colours. Okay, so here we are again, label the axis score, frequency and label at the top. So this has been a video to show you how to organise raw data and then into what's known as a tally frequency table and then use that table to draw either a bar chart or a bar line graph. I hope you've understood and I thank you very much for watching.